In this lesson, we will learn about constraints. Earlier, we learned how to attach a camera to a motion path to make it move along a curve. Now this is done by using a path constraint. But what are constraints? Well, constraints limit an object's position, rotation, or scale based off of various attributes of the control object. Let's take a look at an example, the target constraint. Here we have our character with something flying around in front of his face. Our goal is to animate his eyes to follow that flying object. Let's try to animate this by just keyframing the rotation. So we'll grab an eye, rotate it until we think it's pointing at that object, then grab the other eye, do the same. Uh oh, we just started and we already got a little problem. He looks cross-eyed. We can fix that by rotating the eye again. Now, this may take some time. This would be much easier to animate using a target constraint. So let's create a target constraint with the fly as the control object and the eyes, which are the ones being constrained. Now, when we play back the animation, we can see that his eyes follow the fly wherever it goes. This is a great time saver. We can even animate this constraint turning on and off. So his eyes can be wandering until they lock onto the fly. The target constraint creates an indirect connection between attributes, the fly's position, which is driving the eye's rotation. So as we saw, constraints connect an object's attributes together. A great feature of constraints is that we can animate them on and off. Now this lets us use multiple constraints on the same object and use keyframes and constraints together. Now constraints are a helpful rigging tool used to restrict unnecessary movements and this makes animating easier.